have a haul. I'm going to do a candle shack haul. I just got this delivery um, yesterday or the day before and I haven't even opened them yet. So I've got the website up on my phone so we can go through the scent notes of each one. I've got 11 to get through here. So I just thought this would be interesting for people to um, see my immediate reaction to these. So the first one is Botanic Garden. This one's on offer at the moment. So I only ever buy 50 mils because these I use for my little um, test batches of soap. So like the one log that I make, those are generally tests to see if we want to do it again, how it performs, blah, blah, blah. You know, I used to do much smaller ones, but I now use like a 50 mil bottle. So I'm going to have a look at it and then I'm going to see what the notes say because once you've read the notes, it's kind of in your brain and you might sort of... Um, be convinced that it smells like that, do you know? <laughs> so I'm going to smell it and let you know what I think. So this is Botanic Garden. Okay, it's kind of like unassuming, quiet and unassuming, not a lot to it. It's kind of got like a light, crisp floral like white flowers but not like heady white flowers like a crispy kind of almost verging on citrus but not quite it's like a subtle sweet and unassuming fragrance like the sort of fragrance for a person that doesn't really like perfume do you know what i mean it's not like heady and strong and in your face it's like light and be pretty for spring so the notes on there say bursting with fruity top notes of grapefruit, cassis and apricot, followed by a heart of mugwit. Rose mugwit, mugway, I don't know how you say that, but it's lily of the valley. Um, roses, spices and jasmine with a woody musky base. I don't smell that. No. No, I don't smell that. No, I don't smell any woody musky base in there at all. It's, got, it's just light and airy. Okay, so the next one is Blueberry and Vanilla, which I've had before and I've made soap with this before quite some time ago. So let's, uh, I know what this smells like. It's a bloody strong, excuse my French, strong fragrance that Jesus. It's like, it's like catches you like in the back of your throat, but I did make soap with this and it does work in soap very well. Jeez. It's like one of those like stops your breathing. You know, like, I get it when I smell celery. It's like does something to my airwaves. That is a strong scent. So if you want like strong candles or strong soaps, this does work in soap and it works really well. The only thing I did get from this when I made soap with it, I put white on the top and did like a blue swirl, is it um, discoloured ever so slightly brown on the top but the rest of the soap it didn't. So that, that's odd, you get like this tinge on the top, you know sometimes you get that. But um, yeah, it's strong, blueberry vanilla, so that's that one. There's their notes just, it's got five five star reviews. A fruity blend dominated by blueberries and strawberries with the powdery sweetness of vanilla. Okay. Kind of just smell like that. It's really strong. Okay. Next one is rosewood and velvet. So as I tap these in, it should come up. Rosewood and velvet. So while I open it, we can let that load. Rosewood and velvet. This one, it's got like a picture of like, I think this is one with like moss and the picture. So it just caught my eye because I love the scent's like, yeah, it's got moss and wood. So I've been meaning to try this for a while, so. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh God, that's nice. That's got like, it smells like herbs and mint, but with this really nice masculine, warm, like, oh, it's really good, it's really good. Almost like a woolly jumper, you know, like a cosy woolly jumper that your man might have on that you want to snuggle into, like that kind of a smell. That's really good. Rosewood and velvet, that's really, really nice. Oh, rosewood and velvet moss, it just says velvet on here. Rosewood and velvet moss, so 
It's got one five star review, so we'll have to have a go with soap and then we can leave a review ourselves. Uh, citrus top notes with pear lead into a heart of amber, English lavender and jasmine which lie on a base of sandalwood, musk and vanilla. I can think of a better way to describe that. It's really good. It's a really, really good, just well-rounded scent. I like that. A lot. Okay, next one is rhubarb and strawberry. What's the guessing that this one is going to accelerate soap? I've never found a strawberry yet that, um, well I have actually. I have found ones called strawberry laces. Was that by Grace Fruit or somebody did the strawberry laces? It was quite good and it did soak well, but any other strawberry I've ever found just doesn't soak very well at all. This is rhubarb and strawberry, so let's have a smell. Ooh. That is so rhubarby. But with like, like a strawberry jam. It smells like a strawberry jam with rhubarb. So I've got people going back and forth past the shop. That's really good. That's really good. As a candle, that would be beautiful, especially in summertime. It's like proper strong rhubarb, and then you get like the strawberry jam in the background, like a sticky sweet smell. Really good. So then notes. They don't do any notes for soap makers because it's like really for candles. But obviously you can use them in soap. But they they yeah they're called candle shack. So. A perfect fruity fragrance, not too sweet and not too sour. This fragrance combines freshly picked strawberries and pink rhubarb on a surprisingly complex base. Well, I'm just getting the fruits and maybe some vanilla-y musk in the base. It's really good. Rhubarb strawberry, I like that. Okay, next is Peony and Blush Suede. This one caught my eye because it's such a pretty picture. It's got like peonies like big puffy pastel coloured peonies as their picture is really pretty and it's um, been catching my eye for a while so I wanted to try this one I'm not really into like too many like pretty pretty florals but actually I surprised myself because in the spring I tend to um, gravitate towards them in some kind of way you know Ooh. okay that's different you can kind of smell the suede mm. Yeah, it's like a sweet, sugary, vanilla-y, suede -y floral. It's kind of, yeah, good, good name for it because it definitely makes sense. Yeah, that's nice. That would be nice as like a, again, like a subtle candle or a nice soap for people that don't particularly like really strong scents. It's, it's nice and sweet. So, that one says, a fruity floral fragrance with notes of peony and red apple. I didn't get any apple from that. Followed by a hearty notes of rose, jasmine and carnation. Kind of get that. Fragrance is completed with notes of violet and plum and rich notes of musks and dry amber. That's what I was getting. I can kind of smell like Parma violets in the background. Not like overly strong, but like there's a sweet sugary, it's probably that that I'm getting. That's nice too. But again, not like mind blowing. It's just nice. Next is velvet, peony and oud. Again, another peony. I don't know what I was thinking really. I just went through because their um, prices are, are good, you know, they're quite good. So I sort of just add, so this would do me like 10 batches of soap because I don't really do candles. I do do some melts so I could use, make a few giveaways, I don't know. But um, like for what I get left over, because I only use like 36 mil in a soap. So I'm left with like, you know, just over 10 mil every time, which ain't going to get you far, but we could make a few melts with it. So this is yeah, Velvet, Peony and Oud. Oh. Oh, that smells like something else. Like, um, Scent Perfique make a scent called Whiskey on the Rock that I use in a blend and that's, this is exactly the same. It's really good. It's really rich, really masculine. And again, that warm, cosy smell, perfect for snow days. That's nice. Velvet peony oud, or you can go for whiskey on the rock because that's exactly what it is. It's exactly the same as that scent perfique smell. I do like that. That's very nice. So I might just use that one on its own because I've got whiskey on the rock on my um, shelf back out there. So velvet peony and oud, it says it's got like three reviews and they're all kind of high up. So a stunning, rich, warm fragrance with damask rose, smoky oud wood with a hint of praline. 
Yeah, I kind of get that. But it's funny how one calls it whiskey on the rock and another one calls it this. So it's a nice scent and I definitely would recommend it. So you can go to either supplier for that one because it's the same scent. Okay, next is Sweet Chestnut Latte. I didn't even know I'd ordered this. I think this might be where I got confused. Sweet. Yeah, it's, it's actually the Nutcracker scent that's on their website. Perhaps I changed the name. This is where I got confused because I thought, what have I ordered? And I ordered the Nutcracker. It's got eight reviews. It has such good, like, high, like, lots of stars on each review. So I wanted to try this. So this is, it says Sweet Chestnut Latte, but it's called Nutcracker on their website now. So if you're looking... Ooh, oh my god oh my god that is a, hmm, that's kind of weird hang on okay so straight off i got like a buttery sweet um nut almost like nature's garden doing buttered maple oats and honey it smells a bit like that straight off but then there's like a really strange wood and it smells like when you go into an antique shop like old wood that's weird like nutshells and I suppose that's what they're trying to get at but it's good but it's odd it's kind of like taking my breath out a bit it's like a dry wood mixed with this sweet it's making my mouth water it's making me hungry it's good so that's nutcracker so they say an irresistible sweet and creamy accord where freshly roasted chestnuts and walnuts are combined with soft spicy nuances of white ginger Cinnamon and clove, mm, don't really smell that, nestled amidst a swirl of fresh coffee and whipped vanilla. I don't smell that either. You heard what I smelled. I'm smelling old wood and nuts <laughs> and like sweet buttery smells. It's nice. <coughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Okay, next one is gin and tonic. Let me just tap in gin. Gin. Gin and tonic. Okay. I'm guessing this just smells like a sparkly drink, so let's have a look. Oh my god. You know, um, snowman balls? That's what this smells like. Okay, that smells almost exactly the same. If I got the bottle here, I'd be putting them both together. It smells the same. Like that wintry... That's weird. Why would they call it this? Gin and tonic. People going past again. <laughs> They're going to think, what the hell is she doing? They can't see me on the camera because I've got the screen flipped around. Anyway. Yes, this just smells like snowman balls to me. So if you know that winter scent, it's that. I just wouldn't put that as gin and tonic at all. So they say, it's got one review. Fizzy and Hesperidic. Very realistic. Hmm. No, it isn't. It doesn't smell anything like gin and tonic to me at all. But, you know whatever okay next is black orchid now i don't know if this is a dupe for tom ford which i'm incidentally wearing today the perfume matt bought me um a bottle of it years ago and i've still got a bit left because i refuse to use it up black orchid there it is. okay black orchid It's only got one review on there. Okay, so I'm guessing it'll be the dupe of that, but it might not be, it might be something completely different. Black Orchid is... <sighs> Whoa! Oh my God, it really does smell like it. Honestly, let me smell myself. Yeah, I can smell it. Wow, this is really, really like a lot the same. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good dupe. It's not quite there, but it's, it's like, yeah, surprisingly, like, similar. So that's a Tom Ford dupe. It's got one review. This fragrance has a luxurious touch to it with a heart of orchid and lotus wood blending with top notes of ylang, bergamot and truffle. The base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, vetiver and dark chocolate complete this fragrance. They've missed out patchouli because it's definitely patchouli in this and in the black orchid and I can tell this again it's good 
Yeah, it does smell similar. It's like on first hit, it smells really similar, and then as you sort of sniff it a bit more, it's like not quite as rich and as um, like really. I mean, black orchid is so heady and such a good scent. I love it, but um, yeah, that's that's close. So if you wanted a candle, be nice at home. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're on to mojito. Mojito. Okay, let's have a good old sniff of this. I'm guessing this will be like a mojito. Mm. Yeah, I can smell fizzy, like watery, with really strong lime and sugar. It's not as good as their lime cooler scent, which I use all the time. I'm always making lime cooler. Yeah, mint. Mint and lime and a fizzy water. So yeah, mojito. It smells a lot like a mojito. There's no reviews. It says citrated, minty, aromatic, and very efficient. That's a strange description. But okay, mojito. is That's a good one. I like that. Um... Yeah, it was like a snazzy soap. You could put like pieces of lime and mint, or, you know. I don't mean real lime, like if you had those like segments you can buy, you know. And do like a nice sort of embed on the top. That would be nice on soap. Okay, now the last one I've got is O Verbena, as in L O Verbena. So I wanted to try a different Verbena because the last one accelerated, as we know. <laughs> so I wanted to try a different one. Um... Their last one, the last verbena I called is Vervain, that they, it's called Vervain, but it is like the verbena scent. So I'm just going to see if this is anything like it, and if it doesn't um, accelerate, that will be fabulous. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so let's have a sniff. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, hang on, no, no, here we go. <laughs> it's taking a minute to just like kick into smell all the elements going into that's nice it's more herbal and lemony and actually more realistic let me get that soap the one i've already made is here i can't let me smell it now because these are so strong yeah this is more like a sparkly lemon kind of a scent whereas this one is more of a herbal lemon it's really really nice yeah, this is really good. I like this one. So, oh, Mavina. So they say, that's the last one. So they say about this one, it's got one review. The essence of a warm summer rain shower. Top notes of lemon, verbena, lemongrass, and a fresh breezia accord. Fresh freesia. A floral symphony heart of pink peony, white flowers, and ylang, ylang combined with peach flesh. A hint of coffee and incense leave an indulgent base. Coffee and incense. Okay, that's weird. I'm not getting that. I'm just getting like lemon and herbs and maybe that like the florals are coming through a bit, but I'm finding it hard to smell any coffee and incense in there. Interesting, nice, but yeah, I don't smell those notes, but you know, it's funny when you have to write a description online, some people just smell something completely different. Everyone's nose is different. That's why we all like different scents. So interesting. There's that pesky soap I made. Okay, so that's it. That's my candle shack haul. And I will be back to make soaps with these and we'll see how they all perform. Some of them I might actually use in some wax mounts. I'm not sure. I'm not going to get many out of it if I do, because only 50 mil and we know how much oil we use in wax so it might just be worth yeah making so much and we're about to run out of time on the camera so i'll see you soon ta-ta